So folks, in this week's video, you join me with my Mark 5 Escort bonnet. In this video, we're going to be repairing it, priming it and painting it and getting it back on the car. So, let's get into this. So, before we start the bonnet, I just wanted to say I hope you all had an amazing Christmas. And we hit 2,000 subscribers recently as well, so you can expect a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. There will be more information at the end. So, the condition of the bonnet to start with wasn't bad at all. We've got a deep scratch here, a few dents along the front of the bonnet. It's really weird, they're just sort of all in the same part. And then we've got the usual stone chips that you get on most panels. I had already stripped the bonnet before filming, so it was straight to sanding. I've got a 180 grit disc on the DA sander. We're taking out the chips, the scratch, and we're sanding around the dents as well. So I thought we'd find something like this on one of the bigger panels. We've actually got some filler under here. Um, I think there's much like, but um, there is obviously still filler in there. But that's maybe what somebody's done before trying to repair the dents, but it's just no worked. So we'll buff this down. <laughs> quite a bit of filler underneath the paint that was on the bonnet. Obviously you'd usually be wanting to strip this filler right back and take it right back to the start and refill it all again. But I don't know how long this has been under here but surely a good few years and there's no been any popping under the paint or that or anything. So I've stripped it back quite a bit and we've only really got the dents here now and it's quite smooth all the way along there. So I'm going to give it a clean off and get a little bit of a fill on there. So I've got some filler mixed up. I know it looks like quite a bit but all of the excess around the repair gets rubbed off, so we're going to get some of this on. Um, but it's sort of this area here that's the worst. The wee one here as well. But sort of around this area here. And I'm not a panel beater by the way, just a painter, so don't rip me in the comments, please. I'm just trying to teach myself. I'm hoping that this is going to be enough of a layer as well to get these dents covered but we'll only find out after it's dry and we've blocked it but we'll see. I'm hoping so though. Right, and hopefully that's enough. So you can see it there, I put it on um, and I will let that dry in and we'll give it a block. So that is the rest of the bonnet all 320'd. Um, it was actually alright, just two wee chips that were up here they can be aerosoled, so I'm pretty happy with that. Hopefully that's all alright. This is drying up now, um, but for the moment I'm going to hand rub all the edges. So that's the bonnet all hand sanded as well around all the edges of the face anyway. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do the underside but we'll find it soon. But this is dry now so let's give this a block.
So I've just blocked the catty that was on there and it genuinely does feel all right. I've given it an 80 with the block and then a 180 with the block as well. I'm just gonna go around the edge of the repair with the DA sander with a 180. But that genuinely feels all right. Um, I'll give it a final check obviously once I've rubbed it with the DA. So the reason why I'm going around the edge of the repair with a 180 is because you see those big gouges there. Um, you don't really want that underneath the primer there. So take them out. So I've checked over the repair and it does feel good, but there is one more wee dent here. You can slightly feel it. I just don't want it to show once it's all painted. So what I've mixed up is some dolphin glaze. It's sort of a bit of a thinner filler, um, sort of a top stop sort of thing, but it's literally just a wee tiny one there. So we'll put some of that on. So that's the dolphin glaze on. I should have originally put it on with the original filler that I'd put on, but I just didn't notice it until now. But that's on, it's obviously not the best skim, but this just gets sanded away smoothly. Folks, I've went and decided I'm going to put a bit of primer on this tonight. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do a lip edge right along here, just for a nice soft edge for the primer, because, oh, this is fine, this doesn't need primed. And then just back mask it all around where we need it masked. So that's the flip edge tape done. As you see, this bit's not stuck down, so it lifts up if anything goes near it. And it just provides a soft edge, so you're not rubbing away a hard edge of primer. But that is plenty of room there, so aye. And that's the back masking done. Now to just get some paper on it. So there we have it. That is the bonnet all masked up. I just need to rub down this dolphin glaze and then we're ready to go for some primer. That is the dolphin glaze rubbed down and that feels a lot better. Hopefully that's it covered. But now we'll give the panel a good panel wipe. So this just takes any grease, any dirt off of the panel um, and gives it a right good clean. So. That should be it. See, look at all the dirt that that's taken off. But um, we'll dry it out now. That's us all cleaned off, ready for some primer. I'm going to go and mix it up and then we'll spray it on. So, I've got primer in the gun. I'm going to turn the pressure just down a wee bit just because we're spraying it in the workshop and then we'll get it on. And that is one sort of light coat onto the bonnet. And there we have it, that is the masking removed from the primer. Nice, even finish along there. Just gonna let it dry out overnight, and then tomorrow after work, I'm gonna get to rubbing it. The next day. So folks, it's the next day, and I've decided what better to do with my lunch time than rub my bonnet. I could be eating some nice lunch, but I'm doing this. So I have decided that I am gonna paint the underside of the bonnet. I've just gave it a clean off there with some panel wipe. I'm gonna try and free 2500 it, just so it can get a wet on wet, and then a paint. Hopefully that's enough for it. But with the face of the bonnet, it's all primed. I'm going to get that rubbed as well. So that's the underside of the bonnet all rubbed, all nice, smooth. But now I'm going to rub all the primer. That's all the repaired area blocked with a 320. Now I'm going to DA all the rest of the repair. So that's all the primer area on the bonnet blocked, 320 and 500 and hand rubbed around the edges. So I explain this on every episode, but I'm going to be wet flattening the bonnet just to make sure it's all nice and smooth because we're painting it with solvent base coat. So that is the bonnet all wet flattened. I started with a 1200 and finished it with a 2000. It's all nice and smooth now, ready for some paint. So, just got to the end of the day and the escort bonnet was all nice and hooked up to the stand. I went to adjust the tilt on it and it fell right off. 
I'm absolutely spewing. It ended up dent in the top corner here. There was a dent here for where it was originally hooked before we redone it. And then up here as well. So I'm going to have to prime the whole bonnet now. Um, and see that too as well. I had to put a bit of fill there. Not ideal, really not ideal. I'm going to have to prime the full bonnet, rub it all again, then paint it. Oh. I actually had it ready, so nice, all wet flattened in that. And now I'm going to have to redo it. So the bonnet's all repaired, I've brought down all the bits of cat and that that are there, there and back there. Um, I've masked it all up in that. It's all rubbed where I 180 round the repairs as well. I'm just going to prime it, I'm not going to bother filming it, I'm just trying to get it done um, as soon as possible. So I'm going to prime it now and then I'll catch you once I've primed it. So the bonnet has just come off the bake after being primed. It's feeling a lot better. Um, I'm just going to rub it now. I'm not going to film it again, I'm just going to rub it just for speed. And then hopefully get it hooked up again and it doesn't fall. So, aye. Right, so about an hour later, we are all rubbed, wet sanded again. Right back where we were before, but obviously the bonnet's fully primed now, which is kind of a plus that it's all protected under there. I'm just about to set it back up onto that stand and we'll get some base coat on it. So last week, it was my birthday, the 12th of December. And I've been doing this series, I think this, this will be the fourth episode now. And I've always been using someone else's gun, my work's gun or the college's guns. But for my birthday, my girlfriend Amy got me this. Look at that, the Robust GPG with a spray the end design. That is cool, Denim. But it's a 1.3 tip and that perfect for spraying solvent base coat. So this is going to be very handy for this series. So let's get some base coat in this and spray the bonnet. So there we have it. 21 within us for the solvent base coat. We're just going to get into the gun now. So, paint's on the gun. I've panel wiped and tacked off the bonnet. I'm just going to put the first coat on now and maybe put a mask on. That would be a good idea. So I've put a drop coat on the bonnet and that was a perfect amount just to run out of paint. So I'm going to clean this gun out. It's been absolutely brilliant by the way, I love this gun. Um, that was really, really good to use. Sprayed it on brilliantly, if that's a word. But now I'm going to mix up some lacquer and we'll get that on. So it looks pretty good, paint's dried in. I'm going to get the clear coat on it now. 
There we have it, that's both coats of lacquer on in my bonnet, front and back. Lovely. It's looking good, like, a wee bit of peel on the front, but obviously all the panels will be getting flattened and polished anyway. But I'm really happy with that. So what last we done for the day, came here at 8 o'clock this morning to start work, and now it's 10 to 8, just after finishing this. But it looks really good. Probably wouldn't have took as long as I did the rope it off the stand, but it's alright. Looks good now. So it's the next day after work and I'm going to polish a bonnet. I wouldn't have done this before but it gets out of the way right now um, but I'll show you what it looks like. So last night I was putting the lacquer on pretty pretty enthusiastically shall we say um, and I've got the sags there just around where the washer jets go. They'll come out easily but you can see that the finish is still pretty peely so I don't know what's happened there but I'm actually going to be flattening and polishing this. You can see where I've started here and here. So what I'm actually using is a 1500 disc on a DA sander and then I'll move up to 2000 wet and dry which is obviously the water and then 3000 and 6000 trizax. So if you don't know what that does, basically it just brings down the paint work and evens it all out, evens out all the finish. Highlights bits of dirt in the paint as well as you can see here, just a wee tiny dirt nib that's there, just down there um, and that'll take it all out and then polish it back up. The compound. Fattening and polishing isn't the most entertaining thing to watch, so I'm just going to time lapse me doing it. So you've just seen me try like the bonnet there and this is what it looks like. It's all nice and smooth now, nice and flat all over the panel and it's perfect, ready for a polish. So here's what I'm using to compound the bonnet, it's a Milwaukee rotary polisher and that should just bring that paintwork up nicely. And I've literally done one quick wee pass off camera there, look at that. You see what I mean with the finish now, there's hardly any orange peel on that now. Beautiful. So that's the compounding part of polishing the bonnet all complete, looks absolutely brilliant.
really nice and that peely finish is no more. But what I'm using next on the bonnet is this. It's a very soft pad on a rotary. You can see just how soft it is. And this is the polish that goes with it. It's the Ultra Fina 3M. It's basically an anti-hologram polish which just takes all the little marks away. So let's do that. And for the moment, that is the bonnet complete. It looks absolutely brilliant. Really happy with how it's turned out. Um, obviously that's just the first polish, it'll get polished again once the rest of the car is complete. You can see that the finish is a bit blotchy, but this is under artificial light. Outside this will look absolutely amazing, but I'm really happy with how it's looking. And I've just put some sheet in over the bonnet just to protect it while it's sitting here. So all that's left to do is take it back to the Escort and fit it up. So I'll see you guys when we do that. So it's a few days later and we've got the bonnet on the Escort. When we put it on, it was pitch black, so there was no point filming it, but here's how it looks. So there we have it all on, and it looks absolutely beautiful. It's a bit wet, obviously, with the weather, but you can see the colour matches starting to come along. Obviously, to the wings, it's absolutely outrageous. Um, it looks mental, <laughs> but that's obviously 32-year-old paint. This is brand new, but if you come here as well, you can see it to the wing here, but then to the door, looks pretty good. It probably needs a line a wee bit more to come over to this side because it's tighter along here but this can all be adjusted when it's actually dry. So unfortunately that does bring us to the end of this episode of Restoring My Escort. It was really fun. I enjoyed doing the bonnet like it was a bigger panel. It's more of a challenge to do but it turned out all right. So thank you very very much for watching. Also we hit 2,000 subscribers on the channel. Thank you very much for that. But I did see I would do a giveaway. So here's what's up for grabs. We've got a £10 Greg's gift card. Everybody likes a Greg's, I think, or most people anyway. So we've got that. And then we've got a £15 Halfords gift card. This obviously won't get you much at Halfords because it's very overpriced, but it can always help you towards something big. So we've got these two up for grabs, and I'll put it on screen now, but I'm also getting a custom like drinks cup made. It's got my Ford Ka with YouTube and a galley under it. So that's getting made right now, and then that'll get put out to the winner. Now, you may be wondering how they win something from the giveaway, and here's how you do it. As you're watching this video right now, I've put out an Instagram post. Here's my Instagram right here. So, you want to go to my Instagram, make sure you're following, and like the post that I've put up for the giveaway. That's literally it. Make sure you're following and like the 2000 subscriber giveaway post. You'll see it, and I'll link it in the description as well. And then I'll be doing a live stream on YouTube on the 1st of January, so New Year's Day and that's when we'll get the winners. I'm going to do it in a random name generator and we'll just do it one by one. So one for the Greggs, one for the Halfords and one for the drinking bottle. So yeah. There you have it, that's how it went. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Please comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new or you're watching my videos and you're not subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.